Jack Mildred established the image of the running quarterback at Oklahoma, leading a legacy for the likes of Steve Davis and later on, Jamel Holloway. But the Sooners had golden arms as well. Bobby Warmack. And for a short time, Troy Aikman. Here connecting with All-American Keith Jackson. Cale Gundy had a great run in the early 90s and remains the Sooners' all-time passing leader. Now the reins have been handed to Josh Heupel, who in his first start set two passing records and tied another. We'll see what the South Dakota native can do next against the Baylor Bears. To you by Southwestern Bell Wireless. And Bush gobbled up in the backfield. Nowhere to run. Cornelius Burton arrived at the same time. They need the 46 of Oklahoma. This is complete. Andre Fuller, but he won't get anywhere near midfield or beyond. Blitz coming. This is Michael Thornton with a lot of room. All the way to the 28-yard line on the shuttle pass. Third and short. Luttrell, first down. Touchdown. Really? You caught that five times. Yeah, this oh. is a lateral end zone shot, and it's picked off in the end zone. Intercepted by Rodney Rideau. Oklahoma. Smith comes on a blitz. They pick it up. Man wide open for Oklahoma. Breaking the tackles, Mackey. Big play for to make it his play caller. Second and five. Pressure coming. Man's wide open. A walk in the end zone. That's Josh Norman. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Play running pass. Perkins. Stacked up. Brandon Moore. The third down and four. Well short of the first down. Dossett wrapped up right away by Rodney Rideau. There were 26 penalties. That's a lot of whistles. Big opening, Thornton. He's still going. All the way to the 41-yard line. Sooner sellout crowd loves what they've seen. OU leads 14 to nothing over Baylor. Interference will be declined. Early contact, but Anderson still came down with it. He's limping. And he does run nice routes. Alfred will roll on third and 11. And the pass is broken up beautifully by Pee Wee Woods. Let's check it out. It's Mike Woods, number two. Played, and I'll tell you, they, they don't have an answer for Oklahoma's offensive scheme. It is tough to prepare for. We'll talk more about that. Alfred's got all day, and he throws in a double coverage, and it is intercepted downfield. Mike Woods. They've been trying to pick on him, and it has done. And Darrell gets blown up in the backfield. There's the middle backer, Torrance Marshall, the junior college transfer from Boone. Here's Bush, runs into Callens. And Torrance Marshall, that ended abruptly. Perkins again, nowhere to run. Waiting with open arms, Jeremy Wilson Guest, the former quarterback. Yes. Third down and nine. Alfred under pressure in the flat to Lagway. And he breaks one tackle, but could not break the second tackle. Knox, Knoxie. All right, thanks, Drew. Coach, you have to be fairly pleased, other than that late field goal by Baylor. You guys have controlled both sides of football. Yes, but uh, our offense, Zach, we've stopped ourselves really in the last three, four drives. We There's no reason for what we've done. We ought to have been able to, to move it a little bit more than we did there at the end. Anything we can look for in the second half may be a little different? Hopefully a little better execution by us. All right, best of luck, thanks. Coach. Drew? 
All right, Jim. Coaches never, happy. never ever never. satisfied, are they? Never. 21 to 3, our score at the break. Coming up, the Sonic America's Drive In Halftime Report. Kevin Steele and Baylor down 18 to the Oklahoma Sooners. And they fake it. Connor, touchdown. Wow. Havens gets his score. Patrick Fletcher, the backup quarterback, the holder. And he throws a touchdown. Big this one. This will be a 25-yard attempt by Duncan. Yep. And he splits him. 24 to 3. A delay game, and then they had to put more time on the clock. So that's the explanation to Matt as far as Tim Crowley, the head's lineman, is, linesman is concerned. All right, Daryl Bush runs into Torrance Marshall. Third down and 13. Alfred Flush, nowhere to go, and he's dropped. Rocky Kalmus got him, the sophomore from... Third and 13. Screen to Bush, nowhere. Torrance Marshall, the middle backer, gets him. Yes, we have a chance to visit with Coach Switzer on many occasions. He's been a great friend, a great friend to our entire staff. Uh, we love uh, having him around. And, um, you know, I, I recognize and have tremendous respect for, for all that he's done, uh, college football and uh, professional football. Here's Brandon Daniels with all kinds of room. Daniels! One to beat. A flag has come down. Yep. Finally dropped by Daniel Will Turner. The offensive line using great teamwork. Approach. So, boy, they put a lot of pressure on him. Oklahoma needs the four. Hypo. Hoops. Touchdown. a turnover. It stayed up in the air and Rocky Calvis picked it off. They're firing and falling back. 26-yard kick by Duncan is good. 34-3. The Sooners extend their lead. Go and be comparable to many great ones. Alfred. Great coverage again downfield and finally sacked by 94, Ryan Fisher. Third and five. Alfred dropped, loss of four, another sack. Third of the ball game for the Sooners. Wilson Guest. 300 expanded to the National Football League. It just kind of rose and rose. JT Thatcher's back deep from the 32. Thatcher oh. gets away. Uh-oh. Just Atterbury to beat. And Atterbury trips him up. J.T. Thatcher's first return of the ball game. And it, let me correct that. It's 18, not 16. It's Jason White. Jason White in the ball game. Freshman from Tuttle, Oklahoma. Well thought of. Freshman. 6'2 and 212 pounds. First and goal inside the three. Skinner driving. Wow. Touchdown. That was all Reggie Skinner. And when he's had time, though he has a high completion percentage, not a lot of yak for uh, Baylor as he's dropped for the fourth time. Yak being yards after catch. Right, exactly. Fields it at his five. Get in the halo. Yep. Ante Jones made the tackle, but he might have. Odell goes about 230 pounds. <laughs> Catch made by Davis, and then he retreats. Yeah, that's a negative there. That's a negative.